Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a set on a client and this is probably the Christmas set, Christmas, Christmasiest set that I've done on a client this year. And what I'm going to do is go in and using dual forms, basically extend the nails. They're going to be quite a bit longer than the natural nail and I'm going to do this using dual forms. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to like chat along and bore you all. I'm going to let you guys just chill out and watch this video. I've already done all the prep as usual and I'm then just going to go in with clear acrylic and just extend these nails. Once I've got them all applied, I'm then just going to go in and file. The client wanted them into sort of like a, not quite stiletto I would say, more like an almondy kind of shape, but it's probably one of my favourite shapes, but yes, so that's what I'm doing here and then we're also going to take off the surface shine before we go in and polish because obviously if we don't then the polish will not adhere to the acrylic. So I decided to keep both hands in for you guys so you can watch this. I'm not sure sort of how much dual forms I'm going to be doing lately, especially because I've decided to try and just infill my own nails and not remove because I hate removing. Does anybody else hate removing acrylic nails? Oh my god, absolutely drives me mad and takes forever. So yeah, it just depends whether I get many clients that want the dual forms on. But yes, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to repeat everything on the other hand and then we will come back and see where we're at.
So this client did say that she's quite heavy handed so I wanted to make sure that these were nice and thick so I do go back in underneath with a little bit of acrylic and kind of smooth the underneath out but also just make it that tiny little bit thicker just so they're not going to like sort of snap on the ends or anything. And then I'm just going to go in and remove all the surface shine. I am absolutely loving the nail drill at the moment, you guys. It's making life so much easier. And I've just, I've like, I've been playing about a little bit with them. And for me, I'm much preferring to just use the sanding bands. I, I've not really got the hang of the other bits. I just don't find that they really work for me. Whereas like the sanding band, if I have it on the rough side, it like removes gel polish from the nail really really easily and stuff like that where I don't need to use like one of the coarse bits I just use like the coarse sanding band if that makes sense so yes definitely loving that at the moment so I'm now going to go in and I'm just going to put a gel base coat on the nails now the client brought her own nail varnishes to use so I was a little bit um wary about doing nail varnish just because we do obviously use a gel top coat over the top, but you do need to try and make sure it dries really well. But this client did actually come in with her mum, so I applied the polish and then I let I let she went and sat while I did her mum's nails so that it was properly dry before we went in with a top coat, which does make a difference and it's definitely definitely doable. I have used nail varnish with a gel top coat quite a few times before and you just have to make sure you really cover it with the gel and try and make sure that the nail varnish is as dry as you can underneath otherwise it just kind of it can kind of start to sort of shrivel a little bit and go a little bit textured and like crinkly it's, it's really really weird and it just does it over like the space of like half an hour after coming out of the lamp it's very strange so yeah we're going in with this beautiful silver from Avon and also this absolutely gorgeous red. The but this this red has got like a gorgeous shimmer in it, and this is also an Avon colour. So this is going to be a nice fun Christmassy set. I hope you guys enjoy this set. I really enjoyed doing them, and I think they were super super Christmassy and cute. Loved them. So I did two coats of the silver and the red and then I do cure under the lamp because I do think it helps it to dry quicker. Obviously it doesn't cure as such but it does help it to dry quicker under the UV lamp. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to put some nice Christmassy design on top. So I'm actually using the Poochie's Nails black gel paint for this and I'm just using a dotting tool and she did like um, a set that I'd done previously which I think you guys will have seen, you will have seen me doing this before and I just did like a hand drawn bauble on it and she really liked that so that is kind of what we did here. So I'm then going in with a red gel polish and just going on with a bubble. So I'm not using nail varnish now, I'm using actual gel that will cure. So I went in and I just sort of hand painted this cute little bubble on this finger and on the other hand, I think we did opposite fingers. Yeah. So like on the other one it was a ring and on this one it is the index finger, but same design. And then on the other finger that was left over, I did just a candy cane type effect and I just 
paint it on these stripes with gel polish as well. What are you guys thinking throughout this video of the like camera quality? I think I figured out how to do it and I'm just using the basic video mode. And then obviously when I'm on the computer I'm able to crop to get it closer so it's kind of like it is a bit further away when I'm filming but then when I need to do like designs like this I can just crop it in and it's perfect. It takes a little bit more time in editing but I'm really happy with like the result of this video if that makes sense. I think it's definitely better than what we what we first started out with so yay. Yay for me and my expensive flipping phone camera. <laughs> so yeah just doing a really simple candy cane effect on the other two fingers. So on the thumb, thumb finger, we decided to go with a holographic chrome powder. So I've, I've painted it silver, obviously, as you can see before, and then we decided to just go over the top. So I've applied a no-wipe top coat, and then I'm going in with the chrome holographic powder, and I just think it's so beautiful. I really love this powder. It's one of, I think it's probably my favourite like chrome powder that I've got. But yeah, really, really like that. And we did that on both of the thumbs. And then just gonna go in and just top coat all of the nails with my Kiara Sky No Wipe Top Coat, and I think that will be the finished result. That top coat really does bring out the shine in the nails. I love it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about me doing more clients. I'm also wanting to do more on my actual self because I feel like people would rather see that than see it on like a, a fake hand. But let me know your opinions down below, you guys. I love you so, so much. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas and I will see you in the next video. Bye!